Hey y'all, good morning. Uh, Travis Dampier of Travis Dampier Ministries, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope all is well. It is Sunday, uh, September 27th. Um, I hope that uh, you got some rest yesterday and didn't try to do extra work um, today. Um, but today uh, and tomorrow uh, marks a specific key day um, in history. And uh, this is Yom Kippur. This is the year of Jubilee. And this is the dual feast day, meaning Feast of Trumpets and Day of Atonement, both in one. I'm telling you, like, dude, if this ain't it, we don't know what is. And the Lord always keeps his word. I mean, it's one of the ways that he acknowledges he's God, because people have seen these prophecies for years and years and years, and, and they keep coming to pass, and they go, oh, that's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence. Like, no, it is not. You know what I mean? And and he he's already done all the rest of the, the candles lit on the lampstand, and this is the next one. You know what I mean? He's coming, and he has to do it. You know what I mean? So the rapture is is imminent, and it's going to happen. Um, and, and I'm telling you, like, if I had money in Vegas, you know what I mean right now? You know what I mean? I had I had two grand. That's the last of my money. No matter of fact, you know when you have you know like two hundred bucks left because you've lost like five thousand or whatever you lost, and this is your last bet on it. I'm betting today or tomorrow the rapture hits. I'm just putting my I'm putting my money. I'm throwing all of it on it. You know what I mean? That's how confident in the high probability it is. Um, um, you know if I if I miss it. Okay, we're going to have to seriously wait for some revelation um, for the Lord to tell us when he's coming. Um, you know, but I, 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 I can't see it. You know what I mean? 2020 is not, you're not going back to normal. That, that ain't happening. The Lord is withholding his hand. It's literally, he's literally charging the planet, dude, like a, a, a something that's going to pop. You know what I mean? Like, it's all it is. It's just some snapping the finger. The man, these volcanoes are gonna pop like hotcakes, dude. The big earthquake's gonna hit. You're bringing three days of darkness, dude. You guys are gonna end up seeing this new planet, N Nimeru. You know what I mean? And the wormwood, the asteroids are gonna come with it, dude. It's gonna um, poison the water, dude. I'm telling you, dude. You guys are in for some stuff, dude. It's gonna be like 2012. The movie Signs. Uh, goodness, what other? Uh, apocalyptic movies there are dude all those ones that you see buildings crashing people running all that stuff dude that is what you're going to see ufos shooting and doing crazy it, it's going to be crazy around here you know what i mean and the funny thing is antichrist is going to use all that to manipulate you guys you know what i mean to try to get safety from the government once again try to get safety from the government and don't get safety from the one true living sovereign almighty god jehovah jesus christ Yeshua Myashek. I'm telling you, you 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 need uh, to to get right. You need you need it because you're 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 uh, gonna get yourself in a really bad place. You know what I mean? So come on, man. Like like snap out of it. You gotta snap out of it now. Like <laughs> the the doors literally is close. It's like this, and if you don't uh, squeeze in right now, dude, you got seven years of waiting. You know, some people say that there's a, a mid rapture. You know what I mean? That when the two witnesses die, that they got to get raptured up, uh, and that's when the rest of the church uh, gets raptured. Those that are Christians on earth. I hope for for your sake, if you don't go right now, that that is true. If not, you got seven years. But even without, it, you got three and a half years. And Joseph Mill, three and a half years is gonna be long. So you don't want that. Love you dearly. Trying to tell you the truth, man. Like I'm sitting over here dressing all white. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get my fast on today. Uh, no water, no food, no nothing. Starting at eleven to eleven. Um, that is from evening, well, sunset to evening. <coughs> Israeli time when they're kicking off Yom Kippur starting today. Um, anywho, all right, let's get to the, the word of the day. This is an important one. Um, Matthew six thirty three. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Oh, man. The Lord is pushing hard on the saints to say, put him first. Um, a lot of you think of him as Savior, but a lot of you don't think of him as Lord, Master, Commander. 
Um, you think that you can make your own rules uh, and then just use his blood as some scapegoat. That it's not going to work. That's not what it is. And that is not what your salvation is. Um, you reject the Holy Spirit. You reject his uh, commands. Um, Lord's not with you. He'll spit you out of his mouth. That means you're lukewarm. You know what I mean? So don't believe that I, that you can sit over there. Look, I was a Baptist when I first started and the Baptists are heavy with that. You know what I mean? That, oh yeah, you, you're saying you're good. Don't worry about it. You know, you're going to make mistakes. And the and majority of the time I was puff, puff, giving, doing whatever I want to do. I'm like, oh dude, I'm good. And I had no idea. I didn't care about God, honestly. You know what I mean? I did the baptism and all that. You know what I mean? Um, and I know many of you have done the same. You got baptized, dude. You're at the club because you were right there with me. You know what I mean? Or or you're doing it now. And um, yeah, you're in church on Sunday, dude. You're praising, you're singing. And then next thing you know, you're you're sitting at the club, dude. Tootsie rolling, dude. Like I'm telling you, um, the God see God sees it. He doesn't identify you as with him. You're not obedient. You need to repent. And you and repentance means turn away. You know what I mean? You need to turn away from it and then get back to the truth. And the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. But let's get the context of this verse. Really important um, to understand the surrounding verses. The Lord has some things to say about this. Uh, Matthew 6, 33. I'm going to read 25 through 33. You know what I mean? To get the surrounding verses on it. So here we go. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What will you eat or drink or about your body? What will you wear? Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? <laughs> Absolutely not. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry in saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these other things will be added on to you. Stop thinking about your job stuff. Stop thinking about, well, what if I don't get promoted? And what's going to happen? Stop thinking about, oh, but I want to buy my career. And, oh, yeah. Let's just stop it. <laughs> these things are, are worthless. It, it's not important. Seek ye first God and all of these other things. He'll bless you. It's part of his promises. Faith to faith, glory to glory. He wants to grow you. He wants to train you for an eternal position. You will have a job in heaven. You know what I mean? And this little thing you're doing now, putting this job and career and and, and uh, uh, these things that, that are going to go with you when you die, like while you think this 30, 40 years left that you got, you know what I mean? Maybe you're already 50 you know what I mean? And maybe you're 41 and you think you're going to live till 90 and God can call you like that out of this earth, literally in a day. And then what did you do? You spent all your time focusing on something that was temporal when you should have been focusing on something that was eternal. Goodness gracious. Please do it. Please repent. Please get right with Jesus Christ, dude. I'm not saying this stuff for just selling whoop tickets. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He is coming. This is no joke. He's coming. He's coming soon. You are going to, I don't know how sad you will be. Like, like it would be like your favorite parent dying 18 times in front of your eyes. Maybe more than that. That is the pain you're going to feel when you get left because you were trying to ignore the truth and you're going to be like, what happened? What happened? Ah! And you're going to, you're going to lose. I don't know what people are going to do. You're going to lose your mind all because you didn't repent. Come on. 
humble yourself. Get right with the Lord now. No, I'm talking about, you, if you're sitting here and you're watching this video and you got a sandwich in your mouth, put the sandwich down, go to a back room, get on your darn face and pray. If you don't know the Lord, pray this. Uh, God, or, or Jesus, I guess, um, I've heard about you many times. I'm not positive that you're real. Uh, I know uh, God is real, so I, I'm hoping I'm talking to you. Um, please give me faith to believe in you. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to go to hell. And if you are as real as this guy and all the other people are saying that you are, I want to know who you are. Help me to identify who you are. I believe that uh, uh, Jesus died on the cross for to pay for my sins, that uh, he was buried and then he rose on the third day and now stands at the right hand of the Father. I ask, Lord, that you bring me in with you. Teach me who you are. Show me who you are. Show me the love that so many people talk about. I make you and declare you my Lord and Savior this day. Please guide me so that way I don't fall short of making you happy and pleasing you. In Jesus' name, amen. Do that, you're saved, people. And then turn from your wicked ways and ask the Lord to guide you. Give your day back, people. God bless you and yours. See you soon.